Hey, today is a beautiful day out. How are we gonna get better? How are we going to improve? You know what I'm saying? It's you versus you. You have to go against your mind every single day, especially when you don't feel like it. God is gonna push your limits. God is gonna see if you really wanna reach your true potential. This is why today we're talking about the law of attraction. If you really wanna attract your dream life, you have to believe within yourself and you have to overall take action too. We had to manifest it, your dream life. How are you going to manifest it? First, we need to start taking action. First, we need to have a positive mindset in where we're going. We can actually have a vision on what steps we're gonna take to achieve our goals. If we have no steps and if we have no desire to get better, you already failed. You have to have the steps on point. You have to have your vision on point. This is gonna help you attract your dream life. And now you have to believe that you already have it and make that a feeling on a day-to-day -day basis. Believe all your goals have already came true and that's gonna help you attract all of them. So believe that you have that car. You should see yourself already driving in it. You should see yourself with your dream girl. This is how you're going to attract what you want. But you can believe all you want. But if we're not gonna truly take the steps and the actions, then it's not gonna fully work out. We have to have both sides aligned. We have to have the action aligned. We have to have the imagination aligned. That is the art and the law of attraction. But if we're not doing that, then how is it gonna come full circle in abundance? It's not. So we need to be working on that stuff every single day. And the hard choices are most likely the right choices. You have to do the hard things every single day. You have to go hit that weight room. You have to put yourself in the right mindset. You have to sit down and meditate 10 minutes. This is what's gonna help you, lead you in the right direction. If you're sitting there meditating, breathing, thinking about your dream life and thinking about what steps you're gonna take, this is automatically going to attract what you want and what you desire. Mm -hmm. Since you're doing something that you don't like, God is watching you. He's going to prosper you with abundance if you actually keep doing it. And if you actually go through the hard times and you actually overcome your fears and your doubts. But if you're letting your doubts and fears take you over and boss you around and bully you and put you in the dirt mm -hmm. and have you sleeping up and waking up late, then you're not gonna be able to be on point. So you have to put two middle fingers up to your self doubt and let that go by and don't worry about it. You are going to fall, but we have to get up again and again, day after day. That's life. You're gonna fall down, but you have to also get back up. Cause you're here alive. You have another opportunity to attract what you want. Especially if you're watching this video, you were definitely chosen to learn the art of attraction. So we have to start using it on a day-to-day -day basis so you can have your dream life. So you can have your dream body. If you want a six pack, you have to believe you can achieve it. You have to put your mindset in. I already have a six pack. How would it do with a six pack act? How would he feel if he was buff? How would he walk around with confidence? But if you're having self doubt and lack in your head and you're not actually acting as if you already have what you want, then you'll never manifest and you will never be that person in your life. So we have to do it and now is the time. And then we need the following actions. So you need to start working out if you want that six pack. So you need to start eating healthy if you want that six pack. And you need to start taking care of your sleep. These are all steps and actions that are gonna help you manifest whatever you want. Hey chat, let's say you want clear skin. I'm gonna start eating healthier. I'm gonna start getting sunlight. I'm gonna start drinking more water. We need actions and we need to believe that we can actually do it. Because belief is the main thing. Two years ago, was I thinking, 
thinking I could have clear skin. Yes, I was thinking about it, right? But I was also trying new products to try on my skin. I was also trying new diets. I was actually taking steps to actually help me to achieve those goals. But if you have no steps, no actions, then it will never manifest. And you'll never have a life that you desire. So we need to have both sides aligned every single day. Especially when you don't feel like it, especially when you're tired, you have to be doing it. You have to lock in. God is truly testing you. How bad do you want it? How bad are you gonna push through the hard times? How bad are you gonna push through the pain? How bad are you gonna sacrifice for your family? How bad are you gonna put your right foot forward through the pain, stepping on nails and still going through? You know what I'm saying? And a lot of you guys' situations aren't bad. A lot of you guys have a great life and a great opportunity to change your family's generation, to change your path and where you're going. But we just have to overcome the fears and the doubts and start attracting abundance and start telling you guys affirmations every day. If you're not using 410 affirmations every single day, then it's probably a reason why you're overthinking. It's probably a reason why you can't attract abundance. You need to start writing down four things on why you can't achieve your goals. And you also gotta write down 10 things that you're grateful for. This is going to help you out through the day if you can't believe in yourself. Because if you're grateful for the roof over your head, then that hard, difficult time that you're going through right now is probably not a big deal because you got things to do it for. You got your mom that you gotta do it for. You got your dad that you gotta do it for. You got yourself that you gotta do it for. You got God who you gotta do it for. So I want you guys to start doing four or 10 affirmations every single day. There's no reason why you can't be grateful for 10 things in the morning or before you go to bed. There's no excuses, bro. There's zero excuses. If you're seeing this and hearing that, you gotta be doing it right now. And if you're not, then you're lacking and you're eventually going to be in the same position you are now if you don't start being grateful for what you have. If God sees you not being grateful, he will take away what you have real quick. So we have to be grateful and we have to be doing what we need to get done, especially when we don't feel like it. Chad, come on. So type in the comments. I will attract my destiny in the comments if you guys are tuning in this far into the video. I will see the real ones in the comments and eventually, you know what I'm saying? Eventually, you guys will hit different because you guys are actually following along and actually paying attention. You guys actually believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? You will attract your destiny. You got to believe that. Even say that stuff in the mirror, bro. That's going to help you out. Look yourself and say, I will attract my destiny. In the mirror, bro. If you do that once a day, your life will change. Your life will magically change drastically, bro. It all smart, it all starts with the little changes in your life that you start making. Whether you start going to sleep a little earlier, whether you start drinking a little more water, these steps are going to add up. These steps are going to change your life. If you stay consistent, and if you stay disciplined every single day, you will be a new man. You will be a new person. And I'm not just capping. I'm being 100% real with you, bro. But the same goes for you not doing nothing. You are going to be in the same spot that you're in now in about five years. So this is really a sign for you to wake up 
to start doing what you're supposed to do for your families, your friends, and overall for you, bro. You are a man. You're supposed to conquer. You're supposed to do what a man does. Provide value to the people around you. It says simple and provide for yourself too. And I believe in you guys, bro. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you guys later. So make sure to sub up and give me a like too if you appreciate this video. Yes, sir.